G'day guys, Greg here. Now I was walking through Aldi the other day and I came across this product right here. International Cuisine Beef Rissoles. Tender rissoles served with mashed potato vegetables and onion gravy sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds alright. Now at the time of making these videos, this cost five bucks fifty. Not bad for a frozen meal nowadays. With inflation at the moment, it's probably 15 bucks 90 by now. <laughs> but it says beef for us, so let's see how much beef is actually in it. <laughs> oh. Well, it's reconstituted mash, 28%. Mm -mm, I love that stuff. Beef for us, so 25%. Yes. Although down here it says it contains 14.6% beef. So it's 25% beef for us, so, of which 14% is beef. And if they taste any good, the energy is 1400 kilojoules per serving, which means you can have like, oh geez, six or something like that of these every day. And still have a body like the old Grego. Well, how about we crack it open and see what it looks like out of the box. Oh, I love a good unboxing. Ooh, well, well, well. Well, that must be your rissoles, but they're not exactly round. They look pretty flat and squished. There's your reconstituted potatoes and your peas and carrots. Mm -hmm. Look how much gravy is there. Anyway, how do we cook this thing? Ah, heating instructions. Remove meal from carton. Do not remove film. Place frozen meal into microwave oven. Cook on high to seven to seven and a half minutes. Remove from microwave oven and allow to stand for one to two minutes. Carefully remove film and serve. All right, seven to seven and a half minutes, eh? Well, I might go the uh, seven mark. In 10 seconds, just for fun. All right, well, here it is. Oh yeah, I gotta say this kitchen smells really nice. Okay, well, uh, here, does that look anything like what we got today? <laughs> it almost looks identical, except these balls are round and well these ones look like <laughs> they've copped a bit of punishment. I'm not too sure if I like the look of that result. Looks a bit how's your father. These carrots look like they've shriveled up a bit and same with the peas there. Eh? This mash looks good. Feels a bit sticky, but pfft, man, who cares, mate? I bet it tastes good. Well, let's suss out one of these rissoles. Oh. Oh yeah, that 14% beef. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> Now this carrot, mm, soggy, carrot flavour, I've had better, mmm those peas, <laughs> they kind of taste like corn, this potato. Well. It sticks to everywhere in your mouth, the roof of your mouth, on your tongue, under your tongue, to your teeth. It's actually really chewy. It's like potato chewing gum. But I like it like that. Ooh. It's got a pretty nice flavour. If you like the flavour of reconstitution. Now this gravy. Whoa. Boy, that's... um. It's got this sweetness about it and, and that sort of taste of gravy that, well, tastes like gravy that's been sitting there for a long time. But it's not too bad. Now, the meat. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It tastes all right. Hmm. It's not a bad rissole at all. It tastes like way more than 14% beef. It tastes more like 17%. <laughs> it all 
together, this is all right. I, I am really quite enjoying these potatoes, the chewiness of them. And, well, it's just one of those food experiences that you, you just can't get anywhere else other than in a frozen meal usually. And, and it tastes pretty good. Yeah, well, this isn't too bad at all. Oh, I'm quite liking these peas and carrots. Not something that I would usually eat, but hey, when you're forced to eat them and you've got no choice, sometimes that's the best policy. And these potatoes, well, I really like them, even though they're a little bit dodgy. And <laughs> I've had way better, but I do love the texture. I love the chewiness of them, and I love just uh, I just love how they taste. And the, these meat <laughs> results, well, hardly meat, are they? But they actually have a pretty good flavour and taste pretty good. And all in all, I'm actually enjoying this frozen dinner. And well. If the Grego meter was going to make a decision, his decision would be... Not too bad, not all the way up, but about there, and i tell you what, it's not a bad flavour, it's a pretty good price. It'd be great to keep in your freezer. It is something I'd get again as well, and, uh, well, if you're into these frozen dinners and you want a almost vegan meat rissole, then yeah, grab one of these International Cuisine Beef Rissoles, mate. They're not too bad, actually. I mean, I've had way worse, but I've had better as well. Anyway, I hope this video helps you decide what to try, what to buy and what to avoid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I eat a frozen dinner. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the review